All right, the next special matrix type that we have is the triangular matrix. Now, the, tri the triangular matrix comes in two varieties. We have an upper triangular matrix, upper triangular, and a lower triangular, lower triangular. And an upper triangular matrix is a matrix with all of the entries, including the diagonal. So we'll start with the diagonal here, all the way to the last entry. And above the diagonal, let's, let's make sure this lines up here. And above the diagonal, all of these entries are non-zero. And the lower triangular matrix is the same, except everything on the diagonal Well, I, it's not really uh, the fact that uh, these are non-zero that makes this a triangular matrix. What makes it a triangular matrix is the fact that these, uh, okay, let's finish this. We get the idea. All right, so what, what, what really makes this an upper triangular matrix isn't that every single one of these entries is zero. It, it, they could, could be zero, they don't have to be. Um, but what really makes it an upper triangular matrix is that all of these are zero. All of them below the diagonal are zero. And this makes it, and that's what makes this a lower triangular matrix is all of these are zero and all of these are zero. And so it's not necessary that every single one of these be at non-zero, but the general tendency will be uh, dense up here many non-zero entries. And so this is an up, upper triangular matrix, this is a lower triangular matrix.